Hey there, welcome to another week of an SDR's journal. If uh, I actually realized whenever I start these journals, I always say, hey there. Probably should start with something else sometime, but for next week, we'll try that. But um, if you are new here, disclaimer is always, um, I talk about three key learnings that I've taken from the past seven days um, in my role as an SDR at Lupio. Uh, and we're trying to improve this, the video setup over here. I've got the... I've got a bit of my podcasting setup for when I used to run a podcast in the back, uh, in the in the past. Um, so yeah, uh, just so we can improve the video quality a bit as well. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Um, the first, the first key learning I, I guess from this past week has been the best way, and this is something that one of my mentors once taught me was that the best way to learn is to teach. Um, by, by this, I mean that let's say if you figure something out that works for you as an SDR, or your organization that maybe other individuals are not leveraging right now. Um, and if there's someone within the within the SDR team that is willing to sort of that that is curious about what's working for you um, and you're able to sort of help them learn in a way, um, I think that not only benefits them, but it also benefits you in that it crystallizes your learnings overall. Um, so first off, yeah, you, you're able to like when you the more you teach, the more you actually learn. That's what I've noticed myself. Secondly, also, you're just giving back to your team overall. Um, I think especially in an SDR role at times, you can get very um, insular and like I don't need to hit, need to hit my quota and everything is about sort of making sure that I have my quota. But um, if you are performing well, um, and even if you're not, but like if you are performing, well, especially if you're performing well, um, just being able to give back to the team um, in some aspect or the other can be really rewarding on a, I'd say on a, of course, on like a, you know, on level of like the team benefits, but also I think personally, um, at least for myself, I've seen like, whatever you want to say, like you just feel good helping people out. So um, yeah, that's something to look into as to like the best way to learn is to actually teach. Um, secondly, for closed lost accounts, these are accounts that have maybe been closed out by your account executive because there wasn't an op at that specific moment. Um, it is still important. So what, what used to happen in the past when I started off was that when I would see a closed loss account and they said reach back out in a certain amount of months or there was a reason for like maybe not now, um, I would just reach back out and be like, you know, in the past, you said you would look at this tool. Um, it did, it did like it was a good timing, but maybe it's a timing right right now. Um, and I feel like that is not as tailored or as targeted as you need it to be. Um, I think what is more crucial with closed loss accounts is uh, and a best practice would be to actually figure out why you're actually reaching out other than just like they said to reach out a certain amount of months or years uh, or whatever. So for example, let's say you, there was a close lost, um, let's say some, an account got close lost in June and they said, reach back out in June 23. But in December, you notice that there's been a massive expansion into a new country and uh, your product can kind of help with that expansion as such. Um, so having a reason of maybe why you're reaching out earlier in December instead of reaching out in um, in uh, in June um, is important as such. And I think that's something to take into account when reaching out to close lost accounts. Um, kind of figuring out what is the why now uh, is important because I think at times we can only focus with, we, we only tend to focus on the why now for net new accounts, but also for your close lost. Um, having a better idea of that can really help. Um, with making your messaging a lot more crystal clear. And lastly is, this is something that um, I was debating on whether I should put in or not, as I know not most, not some people would agree with this, some people would not. But especially as an SDR, when you've already started to build your pipeline up in the role, you've done your, your, your first few months, you've gone through your ramp, um, you've built your pipe up. I think you gotta be a lot more selective of the accounts that you choose. And if you can come up with three compelling reasons, um, if you really want to say maybe let's say two, I say two minimum, but like at least, but I'd say three is a good number. Three compelling reasons as to why you're reaching out to that account. Um, I don't think it's normally worth your time to go after it, especially on the enterprise and mid market level. Um, on the you know the SMB side, the, the, of course, there's a better, there's a bigger volume game there. But um, that those three reasons could be the company's headcount has grown. Uh, they've made a new senior hire that would have a direct, a core, a direct um, sort of influence on the product that you're actually selling, or um, there's been like there's a hiring trigger where like they've hired specific individuals on a team that you your tool tends to support. Um, so having at least two minimum, I'd say three ideal reasons as to why you are actually reaching out to this account. I literally like have a Excel sheet where like when I'm finding my accounts. I have like a column that says reasons for reaching out and I'll just put like one, two or three. Um, normally I have three, if not minimum of two. 
Uh, but um, yeah, those are three, I guess, learnings from this past week. I uh, would love to get your thoughts on if you agree with these, disagree. Maybe you have your own thoughts about it. Um, always, always open to sharing ideas or reach out if I can help out in any way from my end. If you're a fellow SDR um, or you're just prospecting in general. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will see you uh, next week. Cheers.